Sona's Adventures 2 When Sona saw his mother, he burst into tears. What's the matter? His mother asked. More tears rolled down Sona's cheeks. I don't like the animals. They're horrid. They made fun of me and called me names. I'll never play with them. He cried and told his mother all that had happened. Come now, don't cry, said his mother. They laugh at you because they are silly. They don't know why we have humps. If they did, they would want to have humps too. Why, they'd even want to have a flat feet. But they are not nice. Why do we have them? His mother said, You remember what I said about the way we store water? The hump is where we store fat. When we get nothing to eat for days, this fat is our store of food. How? Asked Sona. When we eat, replied his mother, part of our food turns into fat and collects in our humps. When we find little or no food for days in the desert, this fat stops us from getting weak with hunger. It gives us the strength to walk on till we come to an oasis like this one where there is food and water. And what about our long legs and flat feet? Asked Sona. They are very useful, said his mother. With our long legs, we can walk fast. If our feet were not round and flat, they would sink deep into the sand and get stuck. If other animals knew this, they would envy us. And our long legs, what use are they? Asked Sona, feeling much happier. We have very long legs, so we have to have a long neck, replied his mother. Otherwise, how could we reach anything on the ground? Our long necks also help us to reach leaves on tall trees and see far, far away. Our humps, our long legs, our flat feet and our long necks are all of great use to us. You should be proud of them. Sona was now very happy. He ate up all the fresh green leaves his mother had plucked for him. Then he fell asleep. The next day he set off again. The rabbit, the fox, the snake and the goat were playing. Sona did not even care to look at them. Head held high, he went his way. Let's follow him, said the fox. They followed him, laughing and making fun of him. Sona paid no attention. He kept on walking. A fig tree grew at the edge of a pool. Its big ripe fruit was very tempting. Sona lifted his head, pulled down a few figs and tasted them. They tasted as nice as they looked. Soon Sona was eating his fill. The others watched him. All of them wanted to eat the fruit, but the branches were too high. Do you think he will give us some if we ask him nicely? Asked the deer. I am not going to ask him, said the goat proudly. I'll get some for us. You know I can climb anything. Standing on his hind legs, the goat put his forelegs on the tree and stretched his neck to reach a branch. He stretched and stretched, lost his balance and splashed. He fell into the pool. Help! Help! He cried. All his friends ran to the edge of the pool, but none of them could help him. They were all too small to get him out of the water. They turned to Sona. Oh, please help him! They all cried together. You are so big! Sona quickly waded into the pool. Get on my back, he said, and lowered himself. The goat climbed on his back gratefully. Sona carried him safely to the edge. Thank you. That was very kind of you. I'm sorry I made fun of you. Let's be friends, said the goat. Come and play with us, said the rabbit. And give me a ride as you gave the goat. Come on, said Sona, feeling very happy. And from that day, they all became good friends.